Hi boys and girls, we're going to read a story today called It's Mine. This is a fable written by Leo Leone, and you guys are going to answer some questions about the story, um, characters and setting. You're going to put the story in order, and then you are also going to think about and tell us what the lesson of the story was. So keep all those things in mind while you listen carefully to the story It's Mine. It's Mine by Leo Leone. In the middle of Rainbow Pond, there was a small island. Smooth pebbles lined its beaches, and it was covered with ferns and leafy weeds. On the island lived three quarrelsome frogs named Milton, Rupert, and Lydia. They quarreled and quibbled from dawn to dusk. Stay out of the pond, yelled Milton. The water is mine. Get off the island, shouted Rupert. The earth is mine. The air is mine, screamed Lydia as she leaped to catch a butterfly. And so it went. One day, a large toad appeared before them. I live on the other side of the island, he said, but I can hear you shouting, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, all day long. There's no peace because of your endless bickering. You can't go on like this. And with that, the toad slowly turned around and he hopped away through the weeds. No sooner had he left than Milton ran off with a large worm. The others hopped after him. Worms are for everyone, they cried. But Milton croaked defiantly. Not this one, it's mine. Suddenly, the sky darkened and a rumble of distant thunder circled the island. Rain filled the air and the water turned to mud. The island grew smaller and smaller, and it was swallowed up by the rising flood. The frogs were scared. Desperately, they clung to the few slippery stones that still rose above the wild, dark water. But soon, these two began to disappear. There was only one rock left, and the and there the frogs huddled, trembling from cold and fright. But they felt better now that they were together, sharing the same fears and hopes. Little by little, the flood subsided, the rain fell gently, and then stopped altogether. But look, the large rock that had saved them was no rock at all. You saved us, shouted the frogs when they recognized it was Toad. The next morning, the water had cleared. Sun rays chased silver minnows on the sandy bottom of the pond. Joyfully, the frogs jumped in and side by side, they swam all around the island. Together, they leaped after the swarms of butterflies that filled the air. And later, when they rested in the weeds, they felt happy in a way they had never been before. Isn't it peaceful, said Milton. Isn't it beautiful, said Rupert. Do you know what else, said Lydia. No. What, the others asked. It's ours. All right, I hope you enjoyed the story.